So today we're going to continue on with the chapter five, section four notes. Again, we're gonna be solving exponential and logarithmic equations. So the other day we did examples one through nine. So today I'm gonna to start with example 10. Now notice this is in exponential form. Notice I cannot try to change it to the same base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the natural log to both sides. Now you can also add in log if you prefer, but again, because it's gonna get so messy, I'm gonna just add in ln in front of each one of these. So let me go ahead and go over here to the side because it's gonna be kind of long. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take ln and then I'm putting it in front of this exponent same thing on the other side. So just like before, back in your algebra one days, where you learn inverse operations, where you could add the same number to both sides or subtract the same number, I can add in a natural log to both sides. Now what I'm gonna do is apply my power property. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these powers down in front of the natural log. So now I have x plus three, times the natural log of two is equal to x times the natural log of five. Now I need to go ahead on my left side of my equal sign, I need to distribute the natural log of two to both the x and the three. So this ends up becoming x times the natural log of two plus three times the natural log of two, and it's equal to x times the natural log of five. I need to get my like terms together. So I need to get my x's together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna subtract x times the ln of two from both sides. Now remember, ln five and ln two, these are numbers. So what I'm gonna do is this is gone now from this side. So now I'm left with three times the natural log of two is equal to x ln five, x ln two. I need to factor out a GCF of x from that right side. So I'm gonna divide by x. So if you wanted to see, I'm dividing it by x. So I'm pulling out a GCF and now I'm left with ln five minus ln two, and then it's equal to three ln two. Three times the natural log of two, it's a calculator question, this is a number. So now, to get what x equals, all we're doing is dividing both sides of my equation by ln five minus ln two. Now, when you go to do this in your calculator, do not round until the end. So the way that you're gonna enter this in your calculator, and you can have the option of entering it as a fraction, you're entering this with parentheses, so you would be entering, if you're not gonna do it as a fraction, you could put the numerator divided by, and then in parentheses, this denominator. So this is what you're entering into your calculator to get what x equals because this cancels and now on this side of the equal sign all you're left with is x equals and then the number you're going to get from your calculator so what we're going to end up getting from our calculator is going to be rounded to three decimal places 2.269 this should be a two thank you this was a mistake here. This should be a two. And this should be a two. All right, good catch. Okay, so try that on your calculator. Tell me what you're getting. Your number before it was rounded was 2.26941239 but rounded three decimal places. So again, do not round until the very end. Another thing you could have done here is right here, 
at this step, let me highlight it, this right here, you could have also condensed it down. So you could have also taken the three LN2 over LN5 minus LN2. And what you could have done is pull the power back and then you could have evaluated LN of two to the third over and then condensed this LN five divided by two and you could have done this on your calculator this way. This would have been ln of eight, and then ln of 2.5. You can also do it that way and condense it. So this is where condensing can come and help you out. The next two, we're gonna be using U substitution again. All right, so for the next one, number 11, What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna be using my U substitution and I'm gonna let U equal the middle term, just not the three, just the E to the X. So U is gonna represent E to the X. So now when I go to factor this, okay, so then this becomes U squared minus three U plus two equals zero. I need to factor, find the factors of two that will add to give me negative three, and those are gonna be negative one and negative two. I'm gonna solve for u and then plug it back in. So u minus one equals zero, u minus two equals zero. Add one, u equals one, add two here, u equals two. Now remember, it didn't want me to find u, it wants me to find x. So remember, u equals e to the x. So I'm gonna take out u, put in e to the x equals one. Over here, e to the x equals two. I'm now gonna go ahead and I can't solve it in exponential, so now I have to turn it into log but I'm actually gonna turn it into natural log because my base is an E. So I can turn this in, I could use my Batric because right now it's in B, B-E-A. So now I wanna put it into log. So LN, I'm gonna use natural log because it's an E. So B-A-E. So it's gonna be LN, the E is assumed. And then the answer, and it equals X. And remember, ln1, it equals zero, so x equals zero. Now, the second one, though, is a calculator question. So if we do ln of two equals x, you're just gonna hit the ln button, and then the two close the parentheses, and you should be getting x is equal to 0.693. Technically, we could also do log here, but remember, you would have to do the change of base. Okay, so it's easier to do ln when it's a natural, when it's a base of e. Next one, again, I'm gonna do u substitution. All right, I know I've written all in here, so I'm gonna move 12 down here. Okay, so 12's problem was e to the 2x minus 7e to the x plus 12 equals zero. So again, I'm gonna let u equal e to the x. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace these e's, the e to the x's, with a u. So u squared minus seven u plus 12 equals zero. Factors of positive 12 that give me negative seven, it'll be a negative three, and a negative four. Set each of the factors equal to zero. And I get u is equal to positive three and add the four, positive four. And again, I'm not asking you to solve for u. I want x. So now we gotta plug back in what u equals and it was e to the x. Again, 
These are going to be calculator questions because I can't solve this without a calculator. Again, I'm going to turn it back to the natural log. So natural log of 3 equals x and natural log of 4 equals x because remember the assumed base on that natural log is the e. So now just in your calculator, you press the ln button and then the 3 and we're going to round it to three decimal places. So 1.099 and then this one will be 1.386. So again, calculator. So the next slide says when you're solving log equations, if only one log, then you can put it into exponential form and solve it. Now, if you have one ln, you can also convert it to the log of base e and then put it into exponential form. If you have one log on either side of the equal sign, then you could use the one-to-one -one property, cross off the logs, and solve what remains. However, if there's multiple logs, then you have to condense. And you're using those product property, the quotient property, the, product, uh, the power property, and then get it into one-to-one -one and then change it to exponential. So all of these logs expressions are only defined for positive real numbers. So remember, we can't have a negative base and we can't find the log of a negative number. So once we solve these log equations, we have to check our answers. If it makes what you're trying to find the log of negative, then you get rid of it. So you have to plug it back in. Now we're trying to not plug it back into the whole thing, only to where it would make something negative. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So let's try some examples. So here's my first example, natural log. So what I can do here is I can turn it into exponential and solve, because I can't solve it this way. Remember, the base here on the natural log is an E. So right now this is spelling bay. So if I go ahead and do e to the third power equals x, I can do this. I can do it on my calculator. Just hit that e button, raise it to the third power, and you're going to get x rounded to three decimal places, 20.086. So the e to the x power where you need to fill in a power on the e is the ln button, but you hit the second key. So you don't have to leave it in ln. I could change this to log base e of x equals 3. And then I can still put it into bay. And then e to the third equals x, same way. So you can also use the log, but just remember that the base has to be the e there. Because without putting in that e, if you use the log button, it does it with a base 10. So just be careful. So this one, same exact thing. I can just turn it into exponential. So this just becomes e squared. So e to the second equals x. And again, remember, e is approximately 2.718. So if I ask you to do this without a calculator, you could do this. You could just multiply it by itself but you've got the E button. So just hit second LN, raise it to the second power. So 7.389, three places. The next one, notice I've got a, a log on the left side and a log on the right side. So when they are a log on both sides, just one on each, raise and it's got the same base, we can use our one-to-one -one property, get rid of the log threes, and now just solve what remains. So 5x minus 1 equals x plus 7. I'm going to get my x's together. 4x minus 1 equals 7. Add the 1. 4x equals 8. Divide by 4. And x equals 2. Now, because my original equation was a log, I need to check the answer. 
and all I'm checking to see is what I'm finding the log of. So this right here, let me see, not scribble on it, this and this is where I'm plugging in the two. And all I'm making sure is that this doesn't become negative or this doesn't become a negative when I plug in a two. When I plug in a two here to this one, it's just five times two minus one. That gives me 10 minus one, it's nine. It doesn't make it negative. Thing here, if I plug in a two, two plus seven, that gives me nine. It doesn't make it negative. Now this one, when we plugged it in, you can see that the two sides are equal. So that's another way to double check it. But I'm not worried about making sure that the two sides are equal. I'm just worried about did it make what's in the parentheses a negative number when I plug in that X value. Now the next one, even though it's got a bunch of log of the same base, I can't just go through here and say cross off, cross off, cross off. I can't do that. So when there's more than one log on either side, then I need to use my properties and I need to condense it. Then once it's condensed, then I can cancel the logs. So remember when it's a subtraction, I'm gonna condense this down into division. So log base six, the first one becomes the numerator and the second one becomes the denominator. And now it equals log base six of two X. Now that I have a single log six on both sides, now I can get rid of it and set what remains equal to each other. So three X plus 14 over five equals two X. Now I need to solve for X. So you can multiply both sides by five and solve it that way. Um, you could add a one here and solve it as a proportion, whatever method you wanna use. So if I solve this as a proportion, this gives me five X times two X is gonna give me 10 X. And then the three X plus 14 times one is just three X plus 14. So now I just have to subtract the three X. I get seven X equals 14 divide by seven and X equals two. I need to plug it back in. Now, all I'm checking is to see if I put a two here, three times two plus 14, six plus 14, that gives me 20. It's not negative, I'm good. Same thing here, if I plug in a two for this X, two times two is four. It doesn't make any of those parentheses negative, so X equals two is a good answer. All I'm doing is checking to see if it's gonna become negative or a zero. What I want to check is that what ends up in the parentheses, I'm making sure it's not a zero or negative. If it is, get rid of the answer and then it would be no solution. Let's try the next one. <laughs> Same thing, notice this time, I've got a log base two on the left and a log base two on the right. Get rid of the log base twos and now set the equations equal to each other. What remains? So subtract X. X minus three equals four. Add three and X equals seven. So again, I'm gonna plug in a seven here and a seven here. Over here, seven plus four is 11, that one's good. Two times seven minus three, 14 minus three is 11 as well. So X equals seven is good. It did not make anything a zero or make it negative. The next one, I can't just cancel those logs. I actually have to condense. So I'm gonna go ahead, again, it's a subtraction. So I'm gonna turn it into division. So I'm gonna do log 4x in the numerator and then 12 plus x in the denominator equals log of two. So again, now that I have it condensed and there's just a single log on the left and the right, cancel the log 
and now set what remains equal to each other. So 12 plus X equals two. And again, I can set it up as a proportion and then cross multiply. Or you could have, if you didn't want to do it as a proportion, you could go ahead and multiply both sides by the 12 plus X. And that cancels. And now you're left with 4X equals, and now distribute this, 24 plus 2X. And now combine your like terms. Either way, I like going ahead and solving it as a proportion, <clears throat> but it really doesn't matter. So divide by 2, X equals 12. Now, what we need to do is make sure that when I plug it in here and here, it doesn't make anything negative. Well, 4 times 12 is 48. That one's good. And then 12 plus 12 is 24. So it didn't make that one a zero or a negative number. So X equals 12 is a good solution. Let's try the next one. So for this one, think of it like a two-step equation back from Algebra 1. Work backwards at PEMDAS. So we'll add or subtract first. So in this case, we're subtracting. So 2 ln x equals negative 1. Divide by 2. ln x equals negative 1 half. And now, now that it's in log and I can't solve this, I need to move it back to either law, uh, to exponential. So again, remember the little base here that's assume is in E. So right now it's spelling bay. So here it's spelling bay. I need to put it into B. I'm putting it into exponential. So then it becomes E to the negative one half power equals X. Calculator question. So you're just going to hit that second ln, put in either negative 1 half or negative 0.5, hit enter, and x is equal to, rounded to three decimal places, 0 0.607. Not your rounded answer, because it's 0 0.6065, and the 5 will tell the 6 to round up. Number 20 is the same thing. We're going to move the 7 first. 3 ln x equals negative 2. Divide, isolate that log, that natural log. ln x equals negative 2 thirds. And now it's in bay, put it in b. e to the negative 2 thirds power equals x. Rounded to three decimal places. 0.513. Remember to get fractions on the newer calculators. You can hit the alpha button and Y equals, and then hit one, and it opens up a menu for fractions. There's other ways you can do it, um, but that I think is like one of the faster ways. Um, or you can put it in parentheses and divide it. Either way. All right, let's try some more. Number 21. I need to isolate the log, so I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 2. So log base 5 of 3x equals 4 divided by 2 is 2. It's in log, and it's spelling bay. I can't solve it this way, so I'm going to move it to exponential. So I'm going to be doing 5 to the second power equals 3x. I'm going to evaluate 5 to the second power gives me 25. And now I divide both sides by three and X equals 25 over three. When I plug it in, it's not making anything negative here. So it's a good answer. Next one, same thing. Isolate that log and then convert it to exponential. So divide by three log base four, 6x equals 3, and now I'm going to change it to exponential. So 4 to the third equals 6x, 
4 to the 3rd is 64. Savannah. Divide by 6. And now I have x is equal to 64 over 6, which reduces, I can divide them both by 2, 32 over 3. You can leave it improper. Again, I need to condense here. Now, one thing that'll be beneficial is if you can memorize some facts. You know, just like before, where we saw ln e equaled one, ln of one equals zero. If you know that log of 10 equals one, and log of 100 equals two, that'll save time. Because again, remember what's happening here, this has got the little assumed 10, and when you convert this to exponential, it's just 10 to the first equals 10, 10 squared equals 100. So if you see something like this where it's log, and they won't put the little 10 here, if you see log 10, know that that equals one, or log 100, know that that equals two, or vice versa. And this is what we can use um, when we go to solve this one. Um, however, I can also condense. So let me show you um, different ways to do this. So here, I could condense this and plus sign, condense. This is a product, so it's going to be log 5x times x minus 1 equals 2. Now, I can do this problem several different ways. One way I could do it is, you see this fact over here that I told you that log of 100 equals two? So one way I could do this is I could replace this two with log of 100. And then over here, I need to distribute this. So it becomes 5x squared minus 5x, and now I could cancel the logs, and now I'm gonna solve 5x squared minus 5x equals 100. I need to move the 100 over, so then I get 5x squared minus 5x minus 100 equals zero. I need to factor this, but I'm gonna factor a GCF of five out first, so it becomes x squared minus x minus 20. Factors a negative 20 that give me negative one, and that'll be negative five and positive four. So now I set each of the factors equal to zero. So five equals zero does nothing for me, nothing to solve for. And then x minus five equals zero, x plus four equals zero. So add the five. I get x equals positive 5 and x equals negative 4. Remember, my original equation was log. I need to check both of these. So when I come back up here to the top, I'm plugging it in to the 5x and to the x minus 1. So let me just write those underneath here. So I got to check it with 5x and x minus 1. Well, when I plug in five into both of these, five times five is 25, and five minus one, oops, five minus one is four, so the five works. However, when I plug in negative four into the five X, that gives me negative 20. Soon as it fails on one, get rid of it. So the only good answer here is X equals five. Now, Another way that you could have done this problem is you could have taken the original that we condensed. So from this red step here, so log 5x times x minus 1 equals 2. I could go ahead and distribute. So log, and then it becomes 5x squared minus 5x equals 2. And now what I can do is right now it's spelling bay. And then again, remember this is a little 10 here. So then what I would be doing is 10 to the second equals 
5x squared minus 5x. Notice it turns in to the exact same equation that I had right here. So it could be solved either way. So either just put it into bay from bay to b, um, or uh, or you could go ahead and add in the log and then cancel it. So for the next one, I've sort of written on top of this stuff. Oh, no, I haven't. Here it is, number 24. When I go to do 25, I have to rewrite that one. Okay, so for this one, again, it's a plus sign, so I'm going to condense and make it a product. So log x times x minus 9 equals 1. So now, again, I can solve this the same way. Remember, over here, I told you to memorize that log of 10 equals 1. So I could either plug that in or do the Bay trick as well. So let's just do a Bay first. So I need to distribute. I get x squared minus 9x equals 1. Remember the little assumed 10 here. So right now, BAE. So I'm going to turn it to exponential. Becomes 10 to the first equals x squared minus 9. And now move the 10 over. And now I'm going to factor x squared minus 9x minus 10 equals 0. Factors in negative 10 that give me negative 9 will be negative 10 and positive 1. Set each of the factors equal to 0. So x minus 10 equals 0. x plus 1 equals 0. Add 10. First solution, potentially, is 10. And the other one's negative 1. But again, remember, you got to check it because your original equation was a log. If your original equation is exponential, you don't need to check. So remember what you're plugging it into are the expressions that are right here, the x and the x minus 9. Well, right away, plugging in this for x here makes it negative. So this one's already out of here because it would make it negative. The other one doesn't make it negative because this just becomes a 10 and then 10 minus 9 is 1. So the good answer here is x equals 10. The other way to do it, again, remember, we could have replaced this 1, and we could have made it log 10. So if we did that, then we ended up with log of x squared minus 9x equals log 10. But then get rid of the word log, and then you set what remains equal to each other, which is the same thing that I had right here. So either way, the last one on this slide. All right, so for 25, this problem that's given is log x equals the square root of log x. So what we can do here is let's change this so it has a rational exponent. And now what I want to do is I want to get rid of that rational exponent. So I could raise both sides to the second power. So now I'm left with log of x squared is equal to log of x. And now what I need to do is move the log of x to the other side. And now I'm left with log of x squared minus log of x equals 0. I need to factor out a GCF of log x. So log x minus 1 equals 0. And now set each of these equal to 0. So log x equals 0. So this one equal to 0. And then this one. So this one. And then now the blue one. So log x equals 0. Remember the little assume 10. 10 to the 0 power equals x. So x equals 1. Over here. 
So here I'm just going to add the one, isolate the log, and now do the Bay trick, B-A-E. This has got a little assumed 10. So 10 to the first equals X. So X equals 10. And again, um, if I plug it in, it doesn't make anything negative. Okay, four more examples. So again, on this side, what we need to do is we can get both logs over on the left side and then we can condense. So minus log x plus four. And then now I have log 11x plus nine minus log of x plus four equals three. And now I can condense. The subtraction means it's gonna be, I can use the quotient. So log of 11x plus nine over x plus four equals three. Remember, it's got the little assumed base of 10. And now I can move it from log, which is spelling bay, into exponential. So 10 to the third is equal to 11x plus nine over x plus four. Again, I like to solve these as a proportion. So I'm gonna add a one to that denominator. Let me come on over here to the side. So 10 to the third power is 1,000. So 1,000 over one equals 11x plus nine over x plus four. I'm gonna cross multiply. And once I do the cross products here, this product and then this one. So I end up with 1,000x plus 4,000 equals the 11x plus nine. So I need to go ahead and get my x's together and my constants so I can subtract 11x from both sides. 989x plus 4,000 equals nine. Subtract the 4,000. 989x equal to negative 3,991 divide by 989 and x is equal to negative 4.035. Remember we need to check this and as soon as I plug it in to this one up here it's going to make this negative. So this answer does not work so it's no solution. It will make one of the logs negative and I can't find the log of a negative number. Let's try number 27. So this one, we're gonna go ahead and add in the natural log to both sides because I can't solve this exponentially. So ln of six raised to the x minus three power, add the natural log here. I'm gonna pull these powers to the front. And now I have x minus three times the natural log of six equals, pull that power to the front, times the natural log of three. And now what I need to do is distribute. So I'm gonna distribute the x to the ln six and the three. So x ln six, minus three ln six. Do the same thing on this side, distribute the four x and then the one. So four x ln three plus one times ln three is just ln three. I now need to get my x terms together and then I'm gonna get my constants together. So I'm gonna subtract the four x ln three from both sides. I now end up with x ln six minus four x ln three. I still have the three ln six, I haven't moved it yet, equals ln three. So now let me go ahead and get this over, this constant, because it's just a number. And now I have x, ln six minus 
4x ln 3 equals, and then I'll put it in blue here, ln 3 plus 3 ln 6. So now I need to factor out a GCF here, divide both of these by x. So now I'm left with x times ln 6 minus 4 ln 3 equals the blue here, ln 3 plus 3 ln 6. And now to get x by itself, just divide by the ln 6 for ln 3. And now I'm left with x is equal to, and it's a calculator. Remember, be very careful. You're going to need to put this entire numerator in parentheses if you don't enter it as a fraction. And then also do the same thing for the denominator. Put this in a parenthesis. And be careful because these LNs open up parentheses as well. So you're going to divide the red numerator by that black parenthesis denominator. Once you do this, you're going to end up getting negative 2.487, rounded to three decimal places. And then number 28. Over here, I could go ahead and apply my power properties here. X times LNE minus two times LNE equals four times LNE. And remember, all of these LNEs equal one. So then all I have to do is X times one, two times one, four times one. So X minus two equals four, add two, and x equals 6. And then the very last question here, I'm going to go ahead and this is now in log form. So b, a, e, I'm going to turn it to exponential. So 2 to the 3 halves power equals, and I'm going to change the radical to a 1 half power. So then what I need to do here is get rid of that one half. So I'm gonna raise both sides, I'm gonna square it. So then that's gonna cancel this. And then the same thing here, that'll cancel. So then this becomes two to the third equals two x squared. And then I can make two to the third eight, divide by two, isolate that square, x squared, 4 is equal to x squared, square root it, and x is equal to plus and minus 2. And remember, when we're plugging it in to check it, notice we're plugging it in for an x squared up here. So it's not going to make anything negative. So they're both going to work. So x equals positive 2 and negative 2 are both good answers. So that is it now for the 5-4 notes.